Am I communicating back? Am I saying, right, okay, I didn't, I, I see your point there, but look, we've tried everything have you, we couldn't cope with it. The person would appreciate that. Okay, they might be disappointed you didn't come up with an answer, but they appreciate communicating back. So earning that respect. Fun and fellowship. Add a bit of humor into it. Mm. A bit of variety. Yeah. There's, you'll get characters at meetings, you know? And, you know, there's, there's no point. And sometimes when things are getting heated and somebody comes in, you know, that's the time, you know, it floors everything. It gives you an opportunity to take a breather as well. And the agenda is this, is there anything else that should be on the agenda? And if you deem it relevant to be dealt with at that meeting, put it on the agenda. If it's not on the agenda, unless it's something, an emergency thing that maybe cropped up at a county board meeting that needs to go on, then fair enough. But really, the chairperson should be the only person who can put something on the agenda. Like treasurer. But all the others should get involved as well. And there are things that you would do in a golf classic, like, it's not just the 200 for the teams coming in. You need to get every tea sponsored in. You need to get every green sponsored. You need to do up a program and get advertising in it and all that. So different members of the committee will take on different parts of that and they will get relationships built yeah. with managers and those kind of yeah, yeah. or with the secretary who might be at the club or yeah. the manager whoever it is as long as you have those relationships built you can still do that stuff yeah. but have help from the rest of the committee like it's not just people are friends they're not just PROs you know like uh, PROs aren't the only ones capable of going out and building relationships mm -hmm. like a club secretary a club treasurer you're kind of you're, the key thing is you're really all in it together mm -hmm. if you're serving on a, on a committee you're working oh, okay. and it's the code of best practice um, hearings committee so if if someone does breach the code in the green book that we're going to give out then in your club you should have the code of best practice hearing committee which is made up of a camogie person a ga person a ladies football person what is governance and basically it's making sure an organization is run effectively okay how effective are you at running your club and this was a more longer definition, is the process of how we run our sport, making decisions and ensuring that it is properly. First of all, first piece of information to take out of here today is it's not an insurance fund. It's not backed by any insurance company. The only money in the fund is the money that the players contribute to it. you have to have at that event in order for you to start making money okay because there's a certain area at which everything is costing you money once you get through that then it's all it's all great so the main role of the sports partnerships is to increase participation in sport in general so any sport all over the country and to ensure that local resources are used to best effect some of the outcomes that we seek are the following and just I've highlighted the ones that are relevant to ladies football clubs. It's really to ensure that the club is being ambitious. I know you kind of you get consumed by what's happening today and the problems that you're facing as an executive and you know this coach is coming complaining about this, but it's really to try and think, remove all those constraints that you have today and think outside the box about if we had all our ducks in a row, how good of a club could we actually be?